Hello everyone. I, Professor Neha Dixit, going to explain you hydrodynamic lubrication, which is from your design of machine element subject. Uh, this is the lecture series. Now in part one, we are going to cover all this content. That is introduction of lubrication, introduction to lubricant, functions of lubricant, properties of lubricants. Objectives of this lectures is learners will be able to explain the function of lubrication. Learner will be able to describe the properties of the lubricants. So, first we are going to see the introduction. In introduction, what is lubrication? Lubrication is the science of reducing friction and wear between the two contacting surfaces which have motion relative to each other by inserting or introducing a substance called lubricant between the contacting surfaces. Lubricant. Now, what is lubricant? It is a substance inserted or introduces between two contacting surfaces having relative motion so as to reduce friction and wear. So basic function of lubricant is to reduce the friction and wear when two surfaces having relative motion. Any fluid having some amount of viscosity can be regarded as a lubricant. Lubricant may be either gas, liquid, semi-solid or solid. Next part is what are the functions of the lubricant? First, to reduce friction between contacting surface. Next, to reduce wear, to carry away the frictional heat, to protect the surface against corrosion, to carry out worn out particles, and to prevent entry of foreign particles like dirt and dust to contact zone. What are the properties? of lubricants properties may be physical and chemical property we will see both physical and chemical properties of the lubricant and first important property is the viscosity now what is viscosity viscosity is that property of the fluid by virtue of which it offers resistance to my movement by one layer of a fluid over an adjacent layer in a lubrication a load carrying capacity of fluid film depends upon the viscosity of the lubricant now, what is the Newton's equation of viscosity? And first, I'm, I'm going to clear here, viscosity, you may remember that viscosity is the property of fluid which offers resistance to the movement. So, Newton's equation of viscosity, suppose the fluid film of thickness H placed between the two parallel plates, the lower plate is stationary while the upper plate is moving with the velocity by means of force f the layer in contact with moving plate will move with velocity u while the layer in contact with the stationary plate having zero velocity the intermediate layers will move with velocities which are proportional to their distances from the stationary plates so according to newton's law of viscosity shear stress that is a tau is directly proportional to the rate of change of velocity u with respect to distance y so shear stress is directly proportional to the velocity gradient that is del u by del y so you will get equation that tau is equal to mu into del u by del y while mu is absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity and unit of that absolute or dynamic viscosity is newton second per mm square now which is the major of viscosity absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity denoted by mu is defined it which defined as a shear stress in a fluid per unit velocity gradient so mu is equal to shear stress divided by the velocity gradient now new concept here that is the fluidity fluidity is the reciprocal of absolute viscosity is called fluidity so eta is denoted for the fluidity eta is equal to 1 upon mu that is the reciprocal of the absolute viscosity si unit of absolute viscosity is newton second per meter square or pascal second while cgs unit is dyne second per centimeter square or poise now centipoise unit centi 1 centipoise is equal to 10 raised to minus 2 pascal 1 centipoise is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 newton second per meter square or pascal second and 1 centipoise is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 newton second per mm square or mega pascal per second. Now, 
Kinematic viscosity is the new. It is defined as the ratio of absolute or dynamic viscosity to the mass density of the fluid. So, mu is equal to absolute viscosity divided by the rho, which is mass density of the fluid. Kinematic viscosity of fluid in meter per meter square per second. Absolute viscosity is in newton second per meter square, and mass density of fluid is in kg per meter cube. So, SI unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square second, and CGS unit is centimeter square second or stroke. Now, centi stroke unit. One centi stroke is equal to 10 to minus 2 stroke or centimeter square per second. One centi stroke is equal to 10 to minus 6 meter square second, and one centi stroke is equal to 1 mm square per second. Now, effect of temperature on viscosity. The viscosity of lubricating oil is due to the intermolecular force. As the temperature of lubricating oil expands and molecules moves further, thereby decreasing the intermolecular force. Hence, the viscosity of lubricating oil decreases with increase in temperature as there is a decrease in intermolecular force. Next, effect of pressure on viscosity. The viscosity of lubricating oil increases with increase in pressure. However, in increase in viscosity is significant only at pressure higher than those encountered in ordinary sliding contact bearing. The effect of pressure on viscosity is very significant in elastohydrodynamic lubrication. In further lectures, we are going to see what are the types of lubrication. In that, I am going to explain you what is the elastohydrodynamic lubrication. At the pressures encountered under hydrodynamic lubrication, the increase in viscosity is so high that many lubricants become plastic solids. Now, viscosity index is the another property of the lubricant. It is used to indicate variation of viscosity with temperature. If the variation of viscosity is small, the viscosity index is large. Whereas, if variation of viscosity with temperature is large, then viscosity index is small. Hence, lubricating oils with high viscosity index are always preferred. High viscosity index, that means variation of viscosity with temperature is small. Next, properties oiliness. Oiliness is the ability of lubricant to cling on the metal surface. There is a no absolute measure of oiliness. Oiliness is a joint property of the lubricant and the bearing surface in contact. It is major of the lubricating qualities under boundary conditions. Specific gravity or relative density. Specific gravity or relative density is the ratio of density of lubricant to density of water at the same temperature and pressure. Most mineral oils have relative density in the range of 0.85 to 0.95. The density of lubricants increases with increase in pressure. In oil lubrication, the change of density of lubricating oils with pressure in working pressure range is relatively small and may be neglected. In gas film lubrication, the variation of a density with pressure is significant and hence must be considered. Specific heat, another property of the lubricant. Specific heat is the amount temperature of heat required to raise the one unit mass of lubricant through one degree Celsius. Its SI unit is joule per kg per degree Celsius. It is important property because the lubricating oil is required to carry frictional heat. Flash point. Flash point is the lowest temperature at which the lubricating oil gives sufficient vapor to support a momentarily flash without actually setting fire to the lubricating oil when a flame is brought within 6 mm from surface of a oil. The lubricating oil should have high flash point. Fire point. Fire point is the temperature at which the lubricating oil gives off sufficient vapor to burn it continuously when ignited. Pour point. Pour point is the temperature at which the lubricating oil will cease to flow when cooled. Oil should have as low pour point as possible. Foaming. Excessive foaming of lubricating oil due to churning of oil in presence of air may lead to inadequate lubrication and other problems. Oxidation stability. Oxidation of lubricant is the chemical reaction of oxygen in air with hydro hydrocarbon in lubricant. Insoluble oxidation products may clog oil holes, oil pipelines, filters and other parts of a lubrication system. 
Soluble oxidation products have acidic tendency and hence may corrode or pit during surfaces. Next property is the acidity. Acidity of the lubricating oil is expressed in the terms of neutralization number. Now, what is neutralization number? Neutralization number is defined as the mass of potassium hydroxide that is KOH in milligrams required to neutralize 1 gram of lubricating oil. The acids forms due to combustion may cause harm. Alkanality. Alkanality of the lubricating oil is expressed in the terms of base number. Base number is defined as the mass of potassium hydroxide that is KOH in milligrams which is equivalent to alkali present in 1 gram of lubricating oil. In some application, the alkalinity is introduced in oil to give special purpose of neutralizing the fuel combustion products. Demulsibility Demulsibility of the lubricating oil is its ability to separate from water. It is expressed in the terms of demulsibility number. Demulsibility number is time in seconds required for known volume of oil to separate from an equal volume of a condensed steam. The lubricating oil with good demulsibility will have low demulsibility number. This property is desired in lubricating oils which may come into the contact with water by leakage or by condensation. Demulsible oils are used in metal cutting process where the function of the oil emulsion is to cool the system rather than the lubricate the system. Now, I am going to summarize here desirable properties of the lubricants. So, lubricants desirable properties or good lubricant it should have an optimum viscosity, high viscosity index, high specific heat, high thermal conductivity, high flash point, high fire point, low pour point, anti-foaming property, high oxidation stability, it should not be acidic, good demulsibility, it should be chemically stable with bearing material and atmosphere over the range of temperature encountered in the operation and it should be commercially available at reasonable cost. Thank you for the listening.